Hello guys and welcome back. Um, today we are going to learn a little bit about insects and we are going to make our own beetle. So all you'll need for today is a big sheet of white paper and a second one because we are also going to go over some lines today. And you're going to need a sharpie or like a black permanent marker or even a um, Crayola washable marker is fine too. If you have one of the double-sided ones, a thin one and a thick one, that would be beneficial. But if you don't, that's totally fine. So I'm going to start with my thick Sharpie and we are going to go a step at a time to make our own little beetle. Okay. So an insect has three parts to its body. So it has its head, which will be around here. It's thorax, which connects its head to the bigger part of its body, which is the abdomen. So head, thorax, and abdomen. So we're gonna work on the head first. So we're gonna start by making two circles kind of close to the top of our paper. So point to the top of your paper, scoot your finger down a little bit more, and then you're gonna draw two little circles. All right, and see that we're using a Sharpie, so I can't erase anything. So that's kind of the fun of this project is we have to kind of work with it. Like don't crumple it up and start over. Don't flip your paper over. We're gonna all work with what we're going with because these insects are gonna be super cool and we're gonna be inventing our own. So every little thing you do to add character to your animal or to your insect is gonna be awesome. So don't be afraid. I'm probably gonna mess up a little bit too. So. Let's see how we go. So after we have our two circles, we're gonna connect these two circles with like a curvy line. So you can draw with your finger before you start with your permanent marker. And you can make a little curved line, kind of like a really long M. Or you can make it come up and over. It can be pointed. But I'm just gonna start kind of in the middle of my eye. And I'm gonna curve a little bit up and then curve a little bit down. So there's the, the top of the head of my little insect and my two eyes are right there. And then just below it, we are gonna make the thorax. So this is gonna be kind of like the neck. So like the neck on us. So we're gonna make kind of like a rectangle, but we don't want it to be super sharp. We want it to be kind of curved, okay? So we're gonna make a little a super short curved little line there and another one on the opposite side there and then you can make it kind of wavy kind of wavy and there we go so we have our head with our two eyes we have our neck or our thorax and now we're going to make our abdomen and so what's cool about an insect is if you cut it in half whatever's on the left is going to be the same on the right okay that's called symmetry so say symmetry our most common insect that we think about with symmetry is a butterfly, right? Because one side of the wing is all decorated and really pretty and then the other wing is the same. So we wanna make sure that whatever we do to one side of our insect is gonna be the same on the other side, all right? So now what we're gonna do is, we're, well first we're gonna add some little antennas. So you can make your antennas short or long. You can make them curly. Oh, I like that. I like that it's kind of curly. Okay, so then you can make your little antennas. They only have two. And if you wanted to add like some little pinchers or like teeth or um, you can add little a curve line and some little teeth on there. You don't have to, but that is your choice. You can just stop at the antennas or you can add your little pinchers. Okay. So now we're gonna draw a straight line from right here as far as you want to. If you make it a short line, your body's gonna be short. If you make the line long, your body's gonna be long. So if you make it medium, it's gonna be medium. So I'm gonna make my medium because I wanna fill up my page, right? But we don't wanna make our body too big where we can't make any legs. So I'm gonna start in the middle of my little beetle here. And I'm gonna draw a pretty big line. So my bug is gonna be pretty big. You can make your line short, you can make it long, you can make it extra long, that's up to you. 
just make your straight line there. And then we are gonna make the curved part of the body. So we're gonna start right here under the thorax and we're gonna kinda make a curved line down and I'm gonna curve mine over to a point. Okay, so I started up and I came over and I curved down. If you wanna make your bug more boxy or more angled, that's fine. If you wanna make your beetle's back more curved, you can. But we're only gonna work on one side for right now. So after you get that the way you want it, and then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So you're gonna to wanna to start at the same spot and you're gonna curve over and down and connect it. This side over here looks a little bigger than this one, but it's totally okay. Totally okay. They don't have to be exact. And then we're gonna add our legs. So I'm actually gonna connect my eye right here to my thorax real quick. Okay, and now we're gonna work on the legs. So insects have one, two, three legs on one side of their body and one, two, three legs on the other side. So they have six legs total. So let's start and make those, okay? So our arms have joints. So we have our shoulder, we have our bicep, our elbow, our forearm, our wrist, and our hand with our little fingers. So our bugs have the same kind of thing. So they have like a little section for their shoulder. So it's gonna be again, kind of like a rectangle, but you're gonna to wanna to curve those lines a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna do one, kind of in the middle, make it kind of a curved little rectangle here. And then one kind of at the bottom, make a little curved rectangle here. So that's our one, two, three, our first ones. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna do my bottom one, kind of down here. One, two, three. So now these are all the shoulders for my six little arms. And then you can make a bunch of shorter, skinnier ones like this shape here or you can make them um, kind of longer. I'm gonna make mine kind of longer. So I just went out, up, over, down, and back there. So it looks like a 3D kind of L, like a box letter L. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so that I don't forget what I did. So I'm gonna come over, up, to the right, down, and back in. Okay, so these are my middle legs. My bottom legs are gonna be the same way, but we're gonna point them the other way. So it's gonna be kinda of like a, the letter F without the extra little lines there. Okay, so we have our bottom leg curved over and we're gonna come over to this side and do the same thing. Come over, down, and back over. And then our top legs are gonna be pretty close to these legs as well, just a little bit shorter. So we're gonna come over and up and back down. All right. And then on each of these, we're gonna make a little oval and another little oval. Okay, so you see how I made it? It looks almost like the letter eight or the number eight. So a circle and a circle. And we're gonna do that to each of our little legs. An oval there, an oval there. An oval here, an oval here. Oval here, oval here. Oval here, oval here. And our last two right there. So then this is gonna be kinda of like the wrist on our hands. And then we're gonna make our little, our little feet for our little bugs. You can make your bug's toes um, long or short. Um, I'm going to make mine kind of like this. I'm going to make kind of like the letter N. And I'm going to come up and down. So I'm going to make the letter N come up and down like I'm making an A. Now I'm going to make the letter U 
and come down then up like the letter V. So right here, I'm gonna make the letter U, come down and up. And my last one's up here. Make the letter U and put a V. And there we go. So now we have our basic bug built. If yours looks different than mine, I am so excited to see it because it does not have to look exactly like mine. Make yours the way that you want to. If you wanted to add more of these little ovals or longer sections for the legs or even more shoulder pieces, that is totally fine. You can even put little hairs on your bug legs if you want to. I'm gonna add some little hairs on mine just because I like the texture. I like having all these lines. So now that you have your bug's body, we are gonna pull our bug to the side for a moment. And then we're gonna talk about types of lines because we're gonna fill our bug with different kinds of lines to break him up into different pieces. And then we're gonna use our either markers or colored pencils or crayons or even paint to fill them in and give them some color because a lot of bugs have lots of bright colors. So we want our bug to look really funky and cool. So there are different types of lines. There are straight lines. There are squiggly lines. There are zigzag lines. There are swirly lines. There are curved lines, there are dotted lines, there are diagonal lines, there are short lines, there are long lines, there are vertical, so that means up and down, there are horizontal lines, left and right, there are kind of like, like a mermaid, you know how they have scales? So these are some curved lines that are stacked together. We can make them um, curved and swoopy. We can have lines that crisscross. So these are crisscross or hatch or crosshatch lines. We can have some curly lines like that. We can have thin lines thick lines. And any other line that you can imagine, you can create that into your own, like rainbows or a bunch of curved lines that are smaller and smaller as you go, okay? So just getting this in your head, you can even use curved lines to make a whole new shape. You can use swirly lines to come in and make, you know, like a little snail or something. But you don't have to use these to create anything. They can just be whatever kind of doodles you want. So now that we have kind of gone through our basic kinds of lines, let's slide this over and come back to our beetle. So now, we want to add a little bit of definition and texture to them. So how about we start with the body? Because the body is the biggest part, and I want to make sure that you guys pay a lot, of a lot of attention to detail here. Okay? So you can use any combination of these lines or whatever lines you want to make up as well. But remember, whatever you draw on one side, you have to do on the other. So let's start here. I'm just gonna add kind of like a squiggle here, just to kind of add a cool little bit to the middle. So now what I'm gonna do is on my right side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna try and match it as best I can. I am looking at my previous drawing. I'm gonna try and do my best to match it up. And there we go. It's a little off, but it still looks good. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna add some horizontal lines. So that's going left to right. So I'm gonna do a section of these here. And you can do them close together, you can do them far apart. What we are not doing is we're not coloring anything in with our Sharpie just yet, okay? We wanna make sure we have all of our lines drawn first and then we are gonna add our color and our contrast, okay? 
Another cool thing about insects is, you know how you and I have a skeleton and we have a backbone on the inside of our body? Well, insects actually have a skeleton on the outside of their body. Um, so it's hard on the outside and squishy on the inside, which is opposite from us. And that's called an exoskeleton. Everybody say exoskeleton. Awesome. And so we're decorating their exoskeleton right now. So the shell of our beetle is what we're gonna add all of our decoration to. And don't worry, you're gonna take your time on this. You can spend a couple days on this if you want to, add a little bit of detail at a time. So now I have my lines on my right side, so I'm gonna have to do them on my left. I'm just turning my paper so it's a little bit easier for me to make sure my lines are looking good. So once you start getting the hang of this and getting your body filled out, you need to start thinking about what other lines you're gonna use. You can repeat lines, yes, that's totally fine, but you wanna make sure that you um, leave some pieces blank and some pieces full of lines um, so that you can add color to those later. So we're almost done here. Make sure that you are staying patient with yourself. Don't rush, because you've already done so well so far, I'm sure of it, and I can't wait to see what the finished product, product looks like. So here we go, and this is a simple little guy. I just did squiggly line down here, and then straight lines from left to right, okay? So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna come down here and make some kind of like tiger stripes. They're kind of squiggly and they go one up, one down, one up, one down. So I'm doing that all the way across here. Remember, I'm making my own bug, so you can do whatever lines and designs you want to on the inside of your bug. Just make sure it matches up on either side, okay? Um, let's see. And then, hmm, I'm gonna add some little curved lines around my eyes. So they kind of look like little flowers because our bugs are so important to our flowers and to our fruits and our veggies because they actually help um, our fruits and veggies grow because they go from flower to flower and they pollinate. So they are drinking the nectar out of our flowers and our fruits and veggies and then they're going to other flowers and that will help them continue to grow, which is super awesome. Super thankful for our bugs even though some of them might be creepy crawly and kind of strange. Let's see, I need to add some detail to my legs. So I'm gonna do some zigzags on my middle legs. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then I'm gonna add some polka dots to my top legs. and then my super bottom legs. So these polka dots I'm actually coloring in black because I do want them to show up pretty well. So then I'm gonna come down to the bottom. Okay. And then let's see. I could do some curved lines here. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna do some on the bottom ones too. Okay, and I think my bug is pretty good to go. If you would like to keep going on your bug, that is completely fine and that is totally up to you. But now I'm gonna start adding some color. Okay, so we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we use colors that are bright and that are fun and then look really good together. So I don't have markers at home, but I'm gonna use my colored pencils. So let's see, I'm probably gonna use some pink and some green, maybe a little bit of orange, maybe a little bit of blue. Let's see. 
And then you need to start thinking about the patterns and colors you wanna use. And remember, whatever's on one side of your bug needs to be on the other. So I'm gonna pull out some colors that I think look nice. And then I'm gonna get started. Okay, so these colors are kind of fun. So we'll see how this pans out. All right, I think I wanna do um, my head. I want my head to be blue. Then I'm gonna start adding some color to there. And if you're using um, markers and colored pencils, just make sure that you don't um, you, that you don't rush because you want to make sure that you don't come over into something that's not supposed to be that color. So just take your time because you've already done a lovely job, guys. And if you need to give your hand a break right now, you totally can. Go play a little bit. You can come back and add color to it a different day. So then I just did my little head and then I'm going to come in with... Let's see, do I want green? I think I want some orange. I just think blue and orange look really pretty together. So I'm gonna do orange for around there. All right. So as you guys keep adding color, make sure for these lines that you stay inside them however you've drawn them you have curved lines, straight lines, um, and make sure at the very end when you're completely done that you sign your name on the bottom of your paper so that you know that it is finished, okay? So I cannot wait to see what you guys share with me and what you guys post. So don't give up, keep making art, and I'll keep making videos for you guys. Y'all have fun. Bye-bye.